I'm shocked to my core. At first it was really funny, but then I realized how up a brains of UPSB old farts. It is unbelievable. You're gonna see my rage a bit later, because first things first. We will see results of popular vote from the previous video. Hello Spinner, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning. As you remember, in the last video, when I showed applicants for the main event of this year in the whole pen spinning world, I divided them into two divisions. The first one, those who most likely will pass through. The second one, those who have a bit less chances to take part in Spinball Cup, but still have them, if we get enough applicants. Today also I want to test two new pen mods, which are available on penstock.net now. Let's see how Buster Waterfall and Flower V5 will show themselves in a freestyle. In that video, in the previous one, I will link in the description and you will also be able to watch it by clicking the card if you haven't. I asked you to choose the division for the three applicants. Let's see what you have chosen and let it be as you wish. First of all, I wasn't sure about Nifo's combo. Well, actually there was a side, which I lean for, but let's see what people have decided. 133 votes on this combo so far and 59% of them think that Nifo should be in the first division. I wouldn't argue with that, sounds fair enough. By the way, I have left a link in the description to this video on YouTube to a page where you can find all the updates about coming Spinball Cup 2019, like lists of participants, results of voting and um, different suitable videos and so on. Go on and check it out to stay tuned. After that there was Des, whose freestyle was much more solid, smooth and steady, but to my mind at the same time it was much more simple than for example Nifo's combo or freestyle, though his level is fine as well. 105 viewers voted on this combo and 60% agreed to let him in the first division. So be it. And now let's fun begin. Ninki's combo. 900 people voted on him and the total majority agreed that he deserves the first division. <laughs> are you kidding? Okay, okay, I can understand newbies who are not to all of this so far. But most of all of us totally bought the whole bullshit, which I told in that video and did in that part. Not the whole video, the whole video was fine, right? Even those who have claimed to listen to me and hear what I have said in the past believe that I can mix finger pass with a mirrored power pass. Yes, as well as a lot of you at the beginning of my journey in pen spinning. I have watched a video of Felt of Ram about different versions of power pass. I think it is the most popular video about them. I even can do simple power pass by myself. If you would have a little bit of attention, you would notice my hint on that right when I spoke about Ghost PS combo in the same video. There was also a small hint at the beginning of the video, I said it loud and clear. I wouldn't say much about people's execution and level today. To apply you don't need to show high-end master combo. But yeah, those are pretty vague hints, you could miss them easily. But all the following were so obvious that only a sky level arrogance could prevent you from getting them. Well, the whole part starts when I try to read his name M1 and PYPS. M but you haven't noticed that I have read 54 correctly, even though it was much, much more difficult to figure out than just one instead of I, I wouldn't even say that I know Minky well. We are from the same community, I've been watching his way in pen spinning since his beginning. After that I tell that this is a very low level of execution. Well, in fact it is obviously one of the finest executions among other applicants. Well, I even advised him to change the hand which he used to spin a pen. <laughs> It was so funny when Isaac came down to Discord server, by the way, don't forget to go in there if you are active in Discord, to find a lot of pen spinners to chat with, very useful, very fun. So imagine Isaac coming down from the sky to a Discord server holding Isaac Giotto in his hand instead of lightning and tells This is wrong Alex. There are left-handed people and there are right-handed people on this planet. Really? But... Uh, oh, sh a lot. And I mean a lot of times I told you guys that Noel is one of my favorite pen spinners. Probably number one. And guess what? 
he's lefty. So yeah, I pretty much know that there are left-handed people out there. Yes, he spins with his left hand and I know that well, as all of his solo videos I have watched dozens of times. Isaac came to the Discord server with a whole poem about me not knowing about left-handed people. So after that I say, well for less than a year experience I think his level is quite satisfying. Like there is zero years, so his level is less than a year. Yeah, that was a small self-mockery. Never hurts, right? So what was the... Oh yeah, I called the beginning of his combo unclear. I even told that it seems like he doesn't know what to do with his pen. Guys, there is no such thing in pen spinning. Whatever tricks you do, you do something. If you don't know what to do with your pen, you hold it still. Yeah, the part about power pass was hilarious. I even remember uh, me thinking about should I even include it in a video? Yeah, because this and the, all that left and right hand passage were too obvious. So I thought most of people would bite me through and I would lose all the fun. Apparently it was a good idea to leave it in a video because it was a sensation. Oh, I wish I could see the faces of UPSB farts when I advised Minky to go and watch my finger pass tutorial videos. How smart did they feel themselves? Brilliant minds. Alex has devoted five years to pen spinning and he doesn't know about power pass? I knew about it after two months of my pen spinning practice. Ain't I cool and awesome? Yes, I am. No, my friend, you're pretty dumb to think so. It is as stupid as go and buy pen mod from Amazon. Or arrogant. You choose it. Again, I'm not appealing to newbies. If you are new to pen spinning, of course you're lacking in knowledge. It is totally fine for you to buy all this about Minky. You can also be, make this big mistake and go and buy actually Jigao from Amazon. If you don't know that these shit sticks were designed for rummaging in your ass rather than learn new tricks in pen spinning. But be careful which information you take into account. Be careful with whom you are listening to. Chances are that this is just an arrogant UPSB old fart who just passes you an information from another arrogant old fart. Yes, there is a little chance that it's just me messing with you, but chance is tiny. Anyway, what's the big deal of all this misinforming and misleading people in pen spinning from time to time? It all doesn't matter while it helps, does it? Everybody has his own way and all we can do is just give you some tips for doing stuff. I take tips for you, for my experience and the experience of many other people. Look, who is a better teacher? A guy who has no problem in progressing in pen spinning, who can make hard tricks after 3-4 months of his practicing, or the one who had really tough times in learning even simple tricks, who had to go and study a lot of theoretical info about each trick, different ways of learning it, and after all of that still had to develop his own way of learning it. Who would be a better teacher? What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below this video on YouTube. I can tell you this. Those who have talent, who are good, really good at something, never can be good teachers in this thing. There are so many proofs of this statement. The issue is with this. The second category, those who have problems with studying, are too busy finding new information. They mostly speak to better skilled people, for information. And the first category, the ones who have talent, like to go to Reddit and give advices to the second category. They love to go and give advices even though they are not that knowledgeable. It's like me with learning different languages. I, I, I learn them really fast and it's not a problem for me to keep on a conversation with a foreigner after 2-3 months of learning a new language. But ask me to go and teach someone to do it. Hell, I can't explain even simple things about how to study English even to my own daughter. Not that I insist of knowing English that great, of course. The thing is, I don't even learn it much now, as my current level is okay for my job. But man, have I problems with pen spinning. I really love it, but it is so hard that I have to find different ways even for simple things and provide you with information which I figure out. I also have to find the most efficient ways to learn as I Unfortunately, can't devote enough time for practicing itself. I do have job and have family. Pen spinning and YouTube channel are just my hobbies. And I know most of you guys are the same. Main audience of Penstock channel are people from 25 to 35 years old. Mostly they don't comment a lot, but I see you guys. I have hidden analytics here, you know. 35 plus men and a few women 
are on second place. And only 17% of my audience are teenagers. So in fact I'm doing videos for the same guys as I am, with the same problems when studying, because you know, aging and all this shit. Those who take pen spinning as their hobby, in, in the office or doing tricks with a pen in front of TV set. I know that stretching and warming up before pen spinning session helps a lot. As well it helps to cure your hands if you spend a lot of time by the computer. I make a video to show you that and get a lot of responses and, and uh, private messages. I know that it helps from my own experience and the experience of other people. You know I had a channel on Russian and made videos there before I started to make them uh, here on Penstock and already got responses for this particular kind of training before, long before that I, ma then I made it in Penstock. Stretching and warming helps a lot and you can easily check it out by yourself. What do old farts do? Laugh at this video. You don't need that shit. You don't need this shit. But what you do need to spin and progress better, you need to go and try to make your own pen mod by yourself. Yeah, even though it would cost you much more than buying a pre-made good mod. Either you will end up with a completely unspinnable disaster. You ask them, where do I buy them? And they reply you that the best shop is Penwish. At least if you live in the United States. Why? I have a lot of orders from USA. Delivery from penstock.net out there is in average 10 days and costs only $7. And then it turns out that Penwish copyrights with a company which steals your credit card information and actually steals your money. It corrupts the reputation of all other online shops and I strongly stay against that. After that he tells you to go and buy stuff from Taobao, but it turns out to be hard as hell and at the end you get extremely long delivery time and the same price as you would get from penstock.net and sometimes you end up with overpaid amount. And then at the end he advises you to go and ask random people from discord or whatever, random people from community to send you animals with the payment in advance without any guarantee. It is very convenient, right? What can be easier than go and find a good independent pen model and try to buy a goods from him? Hmm? I know. Go to a specialized shop and make buying a nice and easy process, like thousands of people have already done. You know me, you know my face, I risk a lot if, you, if something goes wrong with your order. You may think whatever you want about me, but penstock.net is a completely different thing. You don't have to like me, but you have to like it. It doesn't misinform you, doesn't provide you wrong information. All it does is serving you to get rid of those old ways of getting pen mods. So you could jump into pen spinning much faster without any regret. What do anonymous pen modders from Discord risk? Today they send mods, tomorrow they don't want to do it anymore. They receive your payment, watch some episode, play some computer games. After the, all that they decide to finally make a pen mod for you. Oops, I don't have needed parts. Well, it seems I need to order them. Holy, they have increased prices from Dr. Grip Grips. Sorry dude, I need to charge you more than we agreed before. And yeah, delivery dates are going to be shifted to the next month. Sorry about that. All the goods you can see on penstock.net are in stock. You can even see their exact quantity. I added this feature recently, by the way, after a few people asked me to do it. So choose wisely whom you're listening to. And don't take advices too serious. They are all just recommendations and wrong information wouldn't stop your progress and or lead you out of pen spinning. Not to say that there is no such thing as wrong information when it comes to learning tricks with a pen. My name is Alex Sukhov, may this tell be with you. Bye.